Okay. It's using a ferro cell with a three quarter inch cylinder magnet underneath it. Here you can see uh, the uh, hyperbola at uh, the pole of the magnet. You can see how it shifts as you go along the dielectric inertial plane. Now let me use a green LED along the pole. And you can actually see a wake front bubble. You see the bubble right there at the very Hold on a second. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see it better. No one's ever seen this before. There's actually a bubble formed. You can see this is a green single point LED. There we go. Now you can see it. Sorry, it's a little out of focus. But. Let me see. You get it perfectly positioned and then you can see it. There we go. If you could look a little closer, you'd actually see a vortex at the center of that bubble. And you can see that it's just a three quarter inch neodymium underneath there. Let me try the red LED, which is somewhere here. There we go. Let me get it a little higher so you can see it. Let me turn the green off. Hold on a second. There we go. You see that bubble? It's a holographic bubble of the centripetal vortex of a convergent magnetism that's actually sucking the light in. Let's see, go around the edge here. It's tougher to see there. Just have to tilt the lens up on this pole to see it. Of course, it's at either pole, but. You can see how it actually shrinks as you get closer to the centripetal point. There we go. Anyway, at least I proved I discovered it, and there it exists. Um, try to get some better close-ups. This is just using a regular flashlight, actually. LED flashlight. You can see the same thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you later.